My name is David Berg and I'm a four-star master distributor. I've been involved in network marketing in an active role for the last about five years when I retired as a corporate technology executive. And what I want to talk about is MLM success in a general sense with new uh, distributors starting in a network marketing company. So before we get into any specifics, I'd just like to generally talk about the MLM business globally. And uh, this is data from 2011. First off, you have to understand this is really a big business. MLM is a big business. $154 billion in revenue with 91 million distributors worldwide. And over the last five years, the average growth was 35%. Big numbers, really big numbers. In the USA, we were 30 billion with 17 million distributors. And the USA has approximately about 200 million adults. Now to compare this with the global kind of stuff, AT&T, a global company, big global company, their annual revenue is 125 billion. So global MLM business is bigger than that. If you want to look at USA, let's pick a couple of you know, uh, sports teams. The National Football League spends uh, revenue as uh, ten billion dollars, and the National Basketball uh, Association is five billion dollars. That's only half of the thirty billion dollars business that goes on with seventeen million distributors in the USA. So, <clears throat> to give you a little more insight, you know, uh, we've divided the world up into four categories: Asia Pacific is uh, pretty much the largest with uh, about 55 billion dollars in revenue. US and Canada with about 51 billion. Latin America third with 23 or almost 24 billion. And Europe uh, Far East with 23 billion dollars. So you have two biggies and two, you know, about half the size to make up the 154 billion dollars. The other interesting fact before we get too far, today 36 percent of the US adult population has no job and they're probably not looking for a job either given up or whatever and that figure is higher than it's been in decades so we have an opportunity here so let's talk about why a person would be interested in MLM and you have to say well what are the benefits well let me tell you what I think the benefits are the first I think is is the to me is the biggest benefit it's not about money it's about making a contribution to improve others lives and how are we improving that generally in health, wealth, and happiness, and freedom. So network marketing brings freedom. The second <clears throat> big benefit is when you become connected with a, a team, an MLM team and an MLM company, you've joined a learning society. And you then get leadership mentoring. And the nice kind of thing about it, rather than paying to learn, you will earn as you learn, and you do this in your spare time. A big deal. You become a part of a learning society, and that, uh, that's a nice feeling of that. Third important benefit, and maybe some think this is the most important, is residual income. You're dealing with a leveraged model. So what you're doing is others are helping you build an organization. That's what the leverage means. Big, another big deal. You're not doing something by yourself. And last but not least is the income tax benefit. And this can be significant. You write off all business expenses, and that includes travel. Very nice. All those give me a really nice feeling. And others that are part of the MLM business. But what we need to do is understand this a little bit more. So I want to talk about the, the part we all appreciate. You know, I mean, you got some things you appreciate, but the money part we all appreciate. Residual income. Let's talk about residual income for a moment. <clears throat> if you wanted to make have an extra five hundred dollars a month, you could do it two ways, and three ways. You could do it with MLM, but here's a couple ways, right? So you see the chart: five hundred dollars a month. You need to have two hundred and forty thousand dollars in the bank and earning two point five percent interest on that. That would <clears throat> guarantee you five hundred a month for the rest of your life. And then you, in the end, you'd end up with $240,000. That's cool. Now, it's all you have to do is put $240,000 in the bank, and you can get $500 a month. Well, if you don't have that, 
you'd have to work an extra 25 hours at $20 an hour to get $500 a month. So then you just look at $1,000 a month or $20,000 a month. Uh, if you go to $5,000 a month, you're going <laughs> to, wow, you're going to have to have $2.4 million in the bank. You'll get that the rest of your life. Or 250 extra hours a month. That's a bunch because, you know, eight hours a day, you know, for a month is 176 hours in, in a month. Uh, 40, you know, 40 times three point, uh, four point something or other, whatever it is. All right, so let's, so, and that isn't even, that's not residual income. That's just to, uh, you know, earn by, uh, by working. So let's add the MLM. <clears throat> so we have here, if you're in an MLM and you got a, a group of customers and distributors, you have 24 of them. Now this is where it gets specific because now I'm using, I'm using the comp plan of the company I'm, I'm associated with. So we're not going to talk about what the company is yet, but if you have 24 um, distributors, you know, customers, distributors basically, spending $200 a month, you're going you're gonna to get $500 a month. Now, if you jump that up to 39, 39, what you're going to then see is you're going to see $1,000 a month. Then if you want 5,000 a month, you need 250 distributors. If you need 20,000 a month, you need 1,000. You know, that's approximate, okay? But look at the difference here. Look at 39. 39 distributors and organizations spending 200 a month get you 1,000 bucks. That's a $480,000 asset, if you go at it in terms of money. Ah, so, let's say you would like to make an extra 1,000 or 5,000 or whatever it is. Maybe you can start with 500. So here you are, <clears throat> right here, and you like to do it. So here's here's how we do it. You go get three people that want to do the same thing that you want to do, that want to make $500,000. And you help them get three, and then you, you help them get three, and you got 39. So it's a three by three by three. When you get a three by three by three, you can make a thousand bucks a month. That's pretty cool. Now, if you want to earn more, you know, almost, if you almost, almost want to earn 5000 a month, almost, it'd be, you just go four by four by four. So, really powerful power in network marketing. So, let me then talk about the three big questions that a person has to answer before they decide that they may want, this might be a benefit to them. The first question is, well, is there an opportunity here? And then, then the question that goes with that is, how big is the opportunity? The second question that has to be answered is, what's the value or worth? You know, is this worth it to me to do this? And the way to say that is, well, what's my cost? What is it going to cost me? Any of the time or money or effort or whatever it is. <coughs> the third question is really simple, and that is, can I do it? So if you can answer all those questions, the bigger the opportunity, the smaller the costs, the easier it is to do, you know, it's, it's a smart thing to do because, hey, Residual income is nice and cool, and you got those other things that go with it. So here's the equation on the left. How big? If that, at, as that gets bigger and my cost gets smaller, the number over here gets really bigger, and the I can do it seems to be easier. But the can do it part is not the hard part. So let's talk about what are the components to be successful in network marketing. The biggest component you don't really see, because we all want to know how to do it, we, you don't see the why the passion and the skills. Now, the how-to is whatever you're going to say, well, how, how, do, how can I do this? So the before you, before you get to the how-to, you need the why, the passion. So you need this. You need the why do you want to do it, and you need the passion to do it, and then we'll teach you the how-to. How-to is pretty easy. We'll also teach you the skills to do it. So if you, uh, if you have the why, you know, you you want to do it, the why and the passion turns that I want to, we have the how to put those together, we can help you be successful. So I often like to explain the MLM success process like a, a baseball game. Then you see this is a diamond. And the objective of baseball again is to put a batter at the plate, to get on base, get a first, uh, you know, get a single, a double, a triple, or a home run. And, um, or, or get a walk, or get hit by the pitcher, or whatever, <laughs> whatever, but you need to get on first base. So in MLM, the first thing that we want to do, especially with a new person, is you want to 
you want to be able to get a, uh, a potential partner onto first base. And what does that mean? You need to get them to attend an event. And once you get them to attend the event and they attend the event, the next thing you want to do is you want to get them on second base. And the second base is a three-way call with an experienced network marketer. And then you, you got to move to third base, which is, you know, some sort of live event. And then you come home. And home is really distributed enrollment. Right? Now, you can put someone at the plate and they could strike out. You could put them at the plate and they could get on first base. You could put them at the plate and they could get any play, and they could do a home run. Now, it's unlikely that a new distributor is going to hit a home run. It's more likely if, if trained a little properly that you can get someone to attend an event and then the, the three-way and the other will bring them home. So what's, uh, what's the event in first base? Well, you could schedule them to a hotel meeting with a presentation and maybe a business training after, or you could schedule them for a home meeting, or you could schedule them for a webinar, or you could schedule them for a video on a smartphone or a PC. Now, if you look at this, the most convenient goes up the page. So it's most convenient for the person to either see a video or a smartphone. Maybe the most effective is to get them to come to a scheduled meeting, a hotel meeting, but that's harder. So our strategy has been, let's try to get Let's try to get a new distributor enough knowledge so they can invite to something convenient for the person and then bring them to the three-way. So, you know, don't really focus on those others because they're a little harder, although they're more effective. Okay, the second base is, again, the three-way call. What is that? It's a potential partner, you, and a team expert. Why the three-way call? It's really simple. It makes it a team event, and you, you don't do it alone. Secondly, use the expertise and experience of a team expert, someone that's uh, very experienced, knows what they're doing, etc. Third-party endorsement, so you get credibility. The team expert brings credibility to it. And finally, the enrollment success is significantly higher when you involve a three-way with a team expert. The other interesting thing is the potential partners learning about what they have to do from this experience. And they begin to see that they have a team, they have an expert, and that they could they could actually be the you, and they could bring a potential partner, and it would work the same way. Well, what's the event for uh, third base? Well, now it could be a scheduled hotel meeting, it could be a scheduled home meeting, it could be a scheduled webinar, it could be a live event, you know, in person, you know, spend some time, answer questions, etc. The objective here and the goal is enrollment. So once you enroll them, you're at home base. What does that mean? You complete the enrollment, the, you know, the first order needs to be $100, $200 or more, and you need to go on an auto auto ship, or auto purchase of $200 or more. You need to connect them to the team for communications. You need to schedule some personal training with them. You need to complete the, have them complete the 48-hour training and start inviting for first pace. This is what the name of the game is, right? Start inviting. So the goal here is to get excited. So let's talk about our MLM, MLM mission. Generally, in the company I've been associated with, for 30 or more years, these owners have had this mission. Educate, inform, and empower. What does that mean? Educate. That means let people know something about something they may not know. Inform them about things they may not know about. And when they do that, then empower them to get the benefits. Money, health, happiness. So what's the new distributor's role? The new distributor's role is to be a messenger and not the message. So you don't want the person to be the message, just the messenger. What do you want? You want the messenger to invite the, uh, the potential partner to learn. <coughs> Excuse me. Invite to learn. So what is it kind of, what, what the, what's this... Uh, New distributor saying, well, come and see. Uh, they're not the message, but they're the messenger. That's very, very important because that's easy to do. So inviting to learn. So if you're inviting to learn for event, there's three things that you need to make it successful. The first is the strength of the relationship. Now, the person you're inviting, if the relationship is very, very strong, that makes a propensity for them to want to do what you ask them to do, you know, without justifying with a lot of details. The second part of it is the strength of your passion. So as you feel and as, as you sense, and they sense your emotion about what you're inviting to, you know, that's another leg of this three-legged 
stool that helps them make the decision to attend the event. Finally is the degree of curiosity. You know, the more curious they are, the more more likely they're interested in learning. So what, you, what you're doing, you're inviting them to learn. You're not inviting them to enroll, you're inviting them to learn. And driving success, and they attend. So that's what's happening. When they attend, we, we're successful. What's the strength of the relationship? Very simple. Unless you want to start with the cold market, war market has the strongest relationships. So you focus on this market. You focus on your friends because you already have that leg strong. The average war market, people know about 250 people. Uh, so you make your list of those people you know. And the cold market, you meet, needs to be made warm with the relationship or you won't find that you'll be successful. Now there's ways to do that and do that quickly. However, when you already have the strength of the relationship in a warm market, that's where you want to go. And then you want to work on the cold market to make it a little warmer. Now the strength of your passion. Passion and emotion must be developed by you feeling the greatness of the opportunity, by you learning and your testimony of why this is good and might be good for them. From your team members, you stay connected because they talk about their commitment and you get that feeling. So the passion and emotion must be delivered in the invitation with the words that go with the invitation. The passion, emotion is really important. So the third Third key is the degree of curiosity. Developing your in, in invitation you using curiosity. You, you want to review it with an upline expert. You want to practice it over and over again. You want to stick to your memorized script. You want to deliver it with passion and emotion. You know, this is less is more. And in quote, use the duct tape provided. Again, you're not the messenger. You're not, not the messenger, the messenger. All right, so this is a put it all together. You want a strong relationship, you want the strength of your passion shown in your motion, you want a degree of curiosity. So when you put all three these together, you're pretty much guaranteed they're going to attend the event. Pretty much guaranteed they'll attend the event. So what is the focus then for new distributors? Here's the hot, here's the easy part. The easy part is the how-to. <laughs> Simple. It's three things you do. One, you make a list of at least 100 names. If you're serious and you want to do this, you go to your, look at your warm market, you know, and I mean there's a degree of warmth and you put together a hundred names. You learn how to invite to the event. And then three, you start inviting with the expert help. And you play the game. You play the MLM success game, which looks like a baseball game. And um, you will be successful. Again, my name is David Berg. I got about five years experience and I'm sharing my experience and my insight in terms of what has to be done to be successful and to gain those four benefits that I talked about you know, the helping people be in a learning environment, getting the residual income, and then getting the tax benefit. So thank you very much for taking the time to learn.